What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and if you are be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam whatsoever. You're gonna get the worst teacher ever. Yeah, that's right guys. Next school year when you guys are uh, getting your classes, you're gonna find out that you got a teacher that actually role plays as a, a horrible person and a devil impersonator. I, I wouldn't risk it guys. I would go ahead and press the like button. Trust me, it's not worth it. Real talk though, we have a subscriber story today about a teacher that definitely had it out for this person and like low-key had some cartoon evil teacher vibes. I'm honestly not sure how this person got away with it, but hey, apparently in small cities way more stuff flies like culty boy scout groups and crazy teachers. So without further ado, let's get into it. Most young boy but I turn to the man, chasing every I know I get the bands, drive exotic while exploring foreign lands, I don't got it but I do it cause I can. All right, what's going on guys? It's your boy scrub here and uh, we all know that school kind of sucks Okay, it's not a secret. It's one of those necessary evils like yes, okay You need to learn how to read to exist in society But teachers kind of suck and most teachers don't suck but the ones that suck like are exemplary suck I, I don't know what just fell off my desk. I'm sorry And you can usually get a vibe of like if your teacher's gonna be good or not pretty quick after you get into the classroom But regardless this person had just moved to like a new city uh, It wasn't a tiny town like the last story, but like it wasn't a major city ev either It was just like a normal sized town and they didn't really know anyone They didn't know any of the teachers reputations and they walk into their math class one day on the first day of school to meet the teacher and they instantly get the vibe that this guy is just one of those teachers that hates kids like, you know, one of those teachers where you honestly just can't help but ask yourself every day after you leave their class, why did you become a teacher if you hate children so much? Because the way he introduces himself is, hello, I'm Mr. We're going to call him Mr. Mr. Z for the purpose of the story. Hello, I'm Mr. Z, and if any of you misbehave, I will not hesitate to send you to the dean's office. My patience for children is small. Like, that's what he says, all right? And if you don't have patience for children, then I think high school math teacher is gonna be the worst job ever because high schoolers are mean dude like listen I don't regret anything I did in high school okay but I can't sit here and pretend that there weren't some kids at my school that were awful to the teachers for no reason so whatever I, I guess I kind of understand having no patience but at the same time having no patience with kids is probably not a good combination with being a high school teacher and the person who sent me in this story, you know, they weren't a, a goody two-shoes. They weren't a bad kid by any means, but they had a talking problem, which I heavily relate to, you know? Like, sometimes I was just causing mischief in class just to be a, a little annoyance, but most of the time what I got in trouble for in class, like on a daily basis, was talking too much. And if you're a talker, you know that your teachers don't really like you because uh, you interrupt the class, which is fair, whatever. Teachers don't have to like you, but this person was a bit of a talker. And because this person had no patience, they clashed almost immediately like on the first day of actual teaching after you do that awkward bit at the start of the year where you know it's just orientation and people introducing themselves with their favorite color and stuff which I always hated dude like I, I just I don't care what the kid sitting next to me in math class favorite color is I know that's crazy but um, I'm just being honest I really didn't care they immediately start beefing because this kid just couldn't stop talking during class and this teacher made it very obvious that he did not like him like after the second day of class when they had talking problems he pulled him aside and was basically like if you're gonna be a problem I'm going to make your life miserable you know which is quite the threat from a teacher uh, quite soon after you meet them like after you get over introducing yourselves during the first lesson you don't stop talking and they're basically like if you don't stop talking I'm gonna try to make your life miserable uh, personally I feel like if a teacher would have done that I would have shut up but this person I guess couldn't control themselves and like kept talking and talking is annoying I get it but talking is a weird thing for a teacher to like get a vendetta over you know I've had teachers straight up not like me and try to make my life miserable don't get it twisted it definitely has happened but I usually deserved it like usually teachers only do this for crazy situations not just because a kid won't stop talking in their class like high schoolers like to talk newsflash bud regardless this person tries to go on their best behavior after their teacher like pulls them aside and says you know I'm gonna try to make your life miserable but inevitably a couple weeks later they get in trouble for talking again and listen I feel like if you give high schoolers a warning and their behavior gets better for a couple weeks like 
they're really trying, you know? If someone doesn't talk in your class for weeks, occasionally they're gonna have a conversation. But as soon as the person starts talking, the teacher is like, I've already warned you what the consequences are gonna be. I can't believe you would be so disrespectful in our lesson. That's it, like, I'm over it, I'm done. And for the rest of the year, he made this kid's life absolutely miserable for talking to the point of like, Straight up borderline, you know, uh, trying to fail a kid for no reason, which I don't understand why teachers fail kids as revenge, because it just means that they're going to have to retake your class, which, you know, isn't really a W for you. But, like, before tests, he would give him study guides with, you know, different questions than everybody else, so he couldn't get help on his study guide. And, like, when they were taking tests, obviously in a high school math class, cheating is rampant. He would be sent to the teacher's lounge to take it alone, so that that way, like, there was no cheating off of it. So, I mean, I don't know if this teacher was just going out of his way to punish him and, like, make him actually learn or what, but it was kind of a punishment. Like, he kind of got sent out of the class whenever they were taking tests. He got separate homework assignments than other kids, so that way, you know, he couldn't talk to them about answers and whatnot. And even if the kid had gotten busted for cheating and not talking, like, that's, I, I guess that's fair, but it does get crazier than just, like, isolating this kid, too. He started using his names in the questions as, like, the stupid person, you know? It would be like, hey, let's say the kid's name is Mark. Mark is a moron who can't do math. And Mark buys 800 lemons because he's stupid. Like, he sent me a picture of one of the questions and it was like, Mark is dumb enough to think this is a good idea. Why is the math da 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 da? Like, it was a math question, but he straight up started using this kid's names and math problems as, like, the dumb kid who couldn't figure anything out. And whenever he would be teaching the class and asked a question, he would go, huh, that's your name. And, like, point it out to the class that this kid had the same name as the dumb person in the math problem. Problem. Like, honestly, this math teacher probably would have been a great, like, social engineer in terms of just bullying kids into doing what he wants. Like, listen, you want to talk in my classroom? I will make you the stupid person in every math problem forever on. But, you know, like, outside of just making him the stupid kid in every math question, too, which is already pretty savage. Like, wh what a way to get none of his classmates to respect him than uh, them subconsciously associating his name with stupid people but like he would also whenever the kid would have a problem or a question would outline to the class why the question was so stupid and this is honestly one of the worst things you can do as a teacher because it like just makes kids afraid to ask questions but whenever you would ask a question in class about math or whatever the teacher would like stop the class and be oh really like that's your question are you serious like are you actually too dumb to understand this are you really asking the question you're asking right now like just generally had it out for the kid you know somehow though by the end of the year despite all of this the person who sent me the story is like pulling off a b in their class and then the teacher starts getting desperate like trying to find a way to mess them up because when you're isolating a kid you're trying to make it impossible for them to pass your class and like they're still doing well that's got to piss you off especially when you're petty enough to like be a 65 year old man picking fights with a 15 year old that can't stop talking i'm gonna take this moment right before we get to the juicy part of the story to just say that you guys should press the like button and turn on notifications if you haven't already. I know a lot of you guys already have them on and I really, really appreciate it, but there is statistics that like 50% of the people watching watch a lot of videos and aren't subscribed or have on notifications and that's okay, you know, like you don't have to, but if you just forgot whatever reason, here's a reminder to press the like button, turn on notifications because you will have epic swag time and uh, yeah, let's get back to the story. Anyways, now that I got the job part out of the way, they start getting desperate. So he starts like purposely sabotaging his own class and trying to blame it on the kid like they had those smart boards I don't know if anybody remembers them they were like had the markers the four different markers that were like magnetic kind of and shaped weird and it was a big deal when we got him in class but he like took some real markers and started writing on his board and pretended not to notice and then accused the kid who sent me the story of switching out the electric markers with real ones to purposely sabotage his board and like took it to the dean's office, and obviously there was no proof because the kid didn't do it. So the dean's office was just like, well, we're going to keep a strict eye on you because this teacher's been here for a while, you know, and we can't prove you did it, but we know you did it. Like, 
he starts pulling every trick in the book to try to get this kid screwed over, you know? And uh, this kid's family moved a lot, so he knew the odds of him coming back to the school were slim to none. So he's like, look, I just got to stick it out. As long as I can pass the class, it's a W, you know? Because, like, once I pass, that's it. That's GG. You really can't do anything. And as much as I would love to tell you that there's some big, juicy revenge story, I'm going to keep it a buck. He uh, doesn't get revenge. He just passed the class and left. But his teacher was seriously petty to the point of, like, trying to frame him for sabotaging electronic equipment at the school just to get him in trouble. Like, this teacher was actually getting to the point of desperation hating this kid. And uh, I don't know, I just think it's funny. Like, whenever teachers get so pressed that a child is living in their head rent-free, just messing with them, I don't know why it's so funny. Like, you're a 45-year-old man, dude. Are you really gonna let a 14-year-old talking get in your head that badly? Regardless, this one does have an happy ending because the kid passed. I guess it would be a lot worse if he actually did manage to make his life miserable. And the kid ended up moving so it wasn't like the deans hating him really mattered at that school regardless though definitely not a fun time to be hated by your teacher for a year uh, on that note guys i think that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did i would really appreciate you pressing the like button letting me know in the comment section down below what you thought subscribing and turning notifications on if you're new i would appreciate it if you like the intro song a link will be down below in the description if you want to check it out no pressure though and uh yeah get yourself some of the og sub club merch if you haven't already it's some of the freshest merch to literally ever exist and i can get guarantee you it'll get you a girlfriend not actually though other than that guys follow me on instagram at scrubby twitter at scrubby underscore 69 and uh yeah on that note don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i'll see you guys next time with another video i'm out peace